Hi everyone, welcome back to our brand knowledge channel. In this book review, we are going to talk about The Speed of Trust, wonderful book, and it is being authored by none other than Stephen R. Covey. And the same author who famously wrote a wonderful book called The Seven Habit of Highly Effective People. So this, the speed of trust, I am going to unfold a chapter called Nothing is as fast as the speed of trust. And in, under which there is a heading, there is a subheading called The Hidden Variable. The author starts with the wonderful story of a guide on himself. The author says that one day I wanted to go for fly fishing in the place of Montana and he says that so uh, he, he, there is a beautiful conversation between the guide and himself the author and he says that what you can see the guide asks that what you can see so and he said that I can see a beautiful river with the sun reflecting off the surface of the water what else you can see and he said that I can't see anything else so this itself is a very beautiful thing for me and then okay you have a wear the polarized sunglasses now you tell me what you can see now I can see beautiful fishes around I can see through the water there are wonderful fishes around I can see it then he said that exactly then he summarized the point that hidden is the trust is something like this it is hidden we need to put it in a way we need to have a good perception we need to have a good paradigm when you have the more stronger paradigm you have the more you will be able to have a trust and you will be able to carry out things much faster and in, in this the last point it says that when you increase that trust the effectiveness I mean what will happen is ability to increase the effectiveness in every dimension of life and then it has given one formula called the traditional business formula when you have a strategy times execution when you have a strategy when you have execution you will get the better result right so this is all these a traditional formula so these two things strategy and execution he has multiplied both the things with something called trust when you have a strategy when you have execution when you have, along with the trust when you have these two combined with the trust you will get the better result the example he has given in a small table he says that the more strategy and execution along with the trust when you have the better 200% uh, your result you will get and then if you assume that there is something he call it as a tax or dividend if you have a less percentage of uh, trust let's say 40 percentage of trust what will happen is your net result will be only 60 instead of 120 right and then it has given for all of the values for example it is starting from the 80 percentage tax that means 80 percentage deduction uh, in the trust or uh, 60 percentage 40 percentage 20 percentage and with no deduction no strong uh, trust and, uh, and, and and all that he has given a wonderful uh, the comparison of these two situations take an example of that so let's say we have a strong trust what will happen in an organization healthy workplace will take place number two good communication will take place number three aligned system and structures few office politics you can avoid get rid of the office politics in the personal relationship when you have a strong trust what will happen you will be polite you will be healthy you will be you will have a strong collaboration you will have a strong communication you focus on working together smoothly and efficiently mutual tolerances mutual acceptance no worries you will be able to balance you will be able to lead the happy happy life let's assume that you have 20 percentage short of trust what will happen still you will be able to focus but what will happen you will not be able to there is a politics will take over there will be mistakes uh, will be take over and so on so this is the comparison he has given between having the strong faith the more and more the strong trust you have the more result the better and the best result you will get it and the lastly i love this chapter he has compared between the myth and reality in myth 
I'm going to read it out for you. It says that trust is soft. That's what says men. On the other side, in reality, trust is hard, real, and quantifiable. It is measurably affect both speed and cost. And then the male says, trust is slow. Nothing is as fast as the speed of trust. The same chapter name. Trust is built solely on integrity. In reality, trust is a function of both character, which includes integrity and competence. So in Maid says, you either have trust or you don't have trust. Trust can be both created and destroyed. Maid says, once lost, trust cannot be restored. So it says that in most cases, lost trust can be restored. You can't teach trust. That's what says men. Trust can be effectively taught, learned. It can become leverageable and a strategic advantage. Trusting people is too risky. It says that in reality, not trusting people is, too, uh, is a greater risk. Trust is established one person at a time. But in reality, tr establishing trust with one establishes trust with many. You can multiply. So this is the nice uh, comparison it has given between myth and reality. I hope you enjoy this uh, version. There is a chapter. I mean, there is a chapter called "Nothing is as fast as the speed of trust." I will be covering much more. And till then, take very good care of yourself and take a look and have a read this book. You will enjoy this book like anything. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.